All right, this is the first time I have had to pump gas <laughs> myself in, I don't know, over a year and a half. In Mexico and Central America, you don't pump your own gas. In Florida, you do. Feels a little weird. <laughs> How funny. So I think most of you guys know that me and Kurt are from Orlando, or at least we both lived in Orlando for like 19 years. Um, and I'm from Florida originally, born and raised in Florida. And a lot of people picture beaches and Disney World and Miami when they think of Florida. But that's not the Florida I grew up in. I was born and raised in North Florida, which is country. Farms, uh, small towns, and that's, that's where I was raised. And that's where my dad and my Aunt Betsy still live. And I'm headed out that way now. And I lived down this long little country rural road. And we're fixed to drive down it. And every time I drive out here, and it just reminisce of the childhood days. You know, growing up in a small town community is a lot different than, than living in any kind of a city. So gonna kind of share this little country road with you guys as we drive down here because uh man I used to walk this two mile little road every day after I'd get dropped off at the bus stop so let's take a look at what used to be my driveway all right this little driveway here to the left takes you down to my dad's house we'll go there later tonight when he gets home that's where I grew up and straight ahead is the Suwannee River. And this, when I grew up, was my grandma and grandpa's river house. And now my Aunt Betsy lives here. So, gonna go do some family visiting. And uh, we'll see you guys in a little while. So Danny decided he's gonna try to get some cell signal. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> <It's the easiest> <laughs> Is it working out for you? Uh, it looks like we got two bar three G. Nice. <laughs> That'll do. So this is the camp spot tonight. A little soda here. This one is Soda Doña Jenny. And you can see the vans are up here. We're under some nice trees. We got some shade. It's cool up here, probably in the 60s and 70s. Some nice swings, beautiful gardens. We just made a nice little hike up the trail and that was up the road and that was beautiful as well. <laughs> Hola. It was pretty steep. It was good training for a volcano hike. <laughs> we went a good little bit too. It was nice. It was a nice walk. It was pretty. A couple nice little vistas. And Sombrita was very, very good. Oh, good. So, we are down in a little town called Cedar Key. Uh, I'm with my Aunt Betsy and Karen, which is my dad's wife. She's wonderful. And we are headed to a little restaurant right on the water. And if you're ever in North Florida, Cedar Key is a cool little place that you're going to want to just spend an afternoon down here, if nothing else. Great seafood, great atmosphere, a little artsy vibe, and close to where I grew up. Hey guys, it has been like two days since I checked in. I have visited family. I've cried when I said bye to them. I got my hair all chopped off and the gray covered up, which is 
pretty cool. And now I'm back in Orlando doing the shopping I was telling you about, but I ran into a friend on purpose. I called her and said, I want to run into you because she does this cool stuff. You know, I'm having to lose the weight for my knee. And she works with this company that will do DNA tests and you send it off and they send you this whole report to help you know what your body should eat when and how and what exercise is best. So I think it's a pretty awesome tool that will help me get the weight gone so I can get the brand new knee. But um, you just take a little swab, you put it in a little envelope, you send it off and within three, almost two to three weeks, you're gonna get a little thing in the mail and it's gonna give you 46 pages in detail of everything that you are going to eat, exercise, vitamin deficiency, so now that I have done with Karen, I've got the cool DNA thing done. I'm going to ship that off from my old neighbor's house before I get on the airplane in the morning. We have one more stop to make. And it's one you guys are going to be super excited about because I'm going to the camera store, the fancy camera store, and I am picking up a new tripod. And the reason y'all are going to be excited about it is because now it doesn't weigh as much and it's smaller and Kurt is going to be able to carry it with us more often. So when we're shooting the cool birds and stuff, it's not going to be all bouncy anymore because we're going to take the tripod and you're not going to be dizzy. So morning everyone. So we woke up in this beautiful little garden area, birds chirping everywhere. Another great night with Vanderson's. We had a nice little dinner at the soda down here. And they told us that quetzals come up in these trees. And so I know that quetzals generally come down and feed in the morning. And so they're generally looking for the little avocados. And so I came down here looking for the quetzals this morning. I haven't seen them, but apparently sometimes they're here. We have a good hike coming up here in a little bit. And Danny and Emily are up so early. I've never seen them up this early. It's like 7 a.m. And so we've got a good hike. And then we're going to meet, be meeting up with some friends. So sorry, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to show you a Quetzal today. But I think we have some real pretty forests we're going to go through and check out. So let's go. Guys, look, a porcupine. It's come came up to the van. This is the first porcupine I've ever seen. It's a porcupine. It's porcupine right here. Look at this little porcupine, guys. It's so cool. Look at him. A little porcupine. Don't go up here. The dog's up here, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come look at it. Right here. No, don't go that way. The dog wouldn't like it and the porcupine wouldn't like it. <laughs> I didn't want him getting no pedo. Pedo is mucho malo. ¿Cómo se dice en español? Puerco. Puerco. We arrived at Prusia. Prusia. Yeah. I'm fixing to go on a little hike. Danny's prepping the van. I'm ready to go. I'm not sure what we're gonna see here. I know it's a hike up through a beautiful forest. We saw a porcupine just down the road at our campsite. 
And they said they have Quetzals there too. We didn't see any, but we're hoping we might see one on this hike. So here we are, we're parked up, almost ready to go. We'll see you on the trail. Because there's a cave here, La Gruta. La Gruta. But to get there, we'd have to go back on the road. That's road, this becomes trail. Eight kilometer. And we're gonna go. Okay. All right, looks good. It's beautiful already. Look at this forest, this canopy of trees. So you guys were telling me a lot of these trees were planted in the United States? Yeah. From the United States. Yeah. Yeah, the seeds are from the U.S. Oh, the seeds. The JFK didn't come down to himself. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it was a project funded by the JFK administration. There was a huge volcano and mudslides up here. And a lot of the mountain was lost. All the trees were gone. And so the U.S. helped uh, replant some of this forest. And so there's a lot of trees that are indigenous to the U.S. that are in this forest. Did you say there's redwoods potentially up here? Yeah, up ahead. They say there's sequoias. Sequoias. Hey. So, should be an interesting hike, guys. But look at it. It's already beautiful. The first intersection. This is it, the trail. Yes, this is looking good up here. The adventurers are going to climb a tree. That's pretty cool. You should take a picture of that, Danny. That's awesome. What's the sign say? We're almost here. Let's see. So we're supposed to turn right for Roble. Roble. Mirador. Ooh. So right now, are we the green and yellow trail intersect? Yeah, Roble. So we could go to this mirror door pretty easy too. We're on the way back. We're on the way back. We can oh, go yeah. this way. <laughs> oh, this is super sketchy. So right through there, we see a little volcano action. And there's a bunch of mushrooms. It says hongos. Hongos is mushrooms, right? Sure is. Yes, but the H is silent, so hongos. Hongos. And there's a volcano up there and some other stuff. But I don't really understand the complete hieroglyphics that we're looking at. Yeah. Do you, Danny? No. I see there's a couple squirrels, some mushrooms, and a volcano. The main volcano Cycle. would be up there where we were yesterday. It should be somewhere up here. Up Maybe there. Hidden in the clouds. So look at this thing. This is a pretty cool little canopy. Wow. This is a pretty cool canopy. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. Kind of how we were looking at Curiagua and had its little island in the sky. So we're walking up through here and this hiking trail has all these little tree canopies over here. I don't know what kind of trees they are. But it's a really cool look. Alright guys, I gotta be very quiet. But we're coming through this canopy and we're seeing all kinds of birds. Danny and Emily pulled out the big camera. All sorts of big bird, all sorts of birds back here, and uh, we're just having an amazing hike so far. But I gotta be quiet now. Okay, guys, we've been trying to speculate which ones are the trees that came down here for the U.S. and all that stuff, but these are ponderosa pines, so no doubt these came from the U.S. And this tree forest is off the charts, isn't it? Wow. And it smells awesome. <laughs> smells like fresh pine. And the pine needles on the floor. It's just really cool.
I guess for birds it's okay, but... But as I come up here, it looks like we're coming to an opening, a little vista. Now we know there's a mirror door up here, but don't really know what to expect. Danny and Emily, as usual, are out front. But look at this. So it looks like we have a nice open mountain view of the farmland. And oh, there's San Jose over there. So, wow. So you can see the patchwork of different kinds of farms, whether they're growing crops or they have dairy cows. We see a lot of dairy cows and there's some normal cows up here as well, but. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a tractor down there plowing the field. And I don't know what they're growing up here. Have you guys figured that out? It's, it almost looks like potatoes. But I don't think that's what it is. I have no idea. But you know what? We have these trees from up where you're from. And isn't that potato country? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to head down here. We're at the intersection. So we're going to switch trails and finish this loop out. We're still in this forested area. It looks pretty cool. You think, which way do you think? So this is the trail. I was wondering if we missed it, but it looks like we're on the right track. We're on the right trail. No matter how we got here. Okay, the bark looks different on this tree. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of like peeling off. Where the other stuff kind of had this big thick bark, like it's on the bottom of that tree. So if any of you tree in our community knows what kind of tree it, this is, let us know. Maybe they're all ponderosa pines. Maybe there's different kinds in here. We really don't know. But it's super cool. Yeah, I'm loving this light. Oh, it's so close to I gotta say, but guys, this place is amazing. We just saw a couple squirrels, birds everywhere. Danny and Emily got their big lens out. They're getting some crazy, crazy videos and, and photos. You guys will have to check out their channel. Look at this. Wow. And the leaves just change colors up there in the light. It's almost like they turn into snow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it does. I know, I feel like it's a misty snow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that snow? <laughs> we just came up a steep hill and topped the corner. I think now we're into a much more native fauna. Woo! That was a steep little burst. <laughs> but it's a really, really beautiful trail. You gotta be kidding me! Wow! Good eye, Danny! Wow! That is so cool! Good catch, Danny! There's just no way you can expect moments like this just to pop up in the forest. I mean, after all we've seen so far, yeah. and how cool are these mushrooms? These, this forest is just so amazing. Did you know? 
So if you guys watched the Azalco video, you guys know at the time Danny had one shirt and it was a Gallo shirt, which Gallo I think is beer from where, Danny? From Guatemala? That's right. And now he has just traded it in for a Costa Rica Puta Vida Imperial Cerveza shirt. Look at that thing. All right, Danny. You're not gonna pump out those guns again like you did in his Alco? No gun show today? <laughs> Little river crossing up here, guys. Little river crossing. Nice, look at you guys. All right, Danny is telling me these are totally redwoods. That was his exact words. These are totally redwoods. <laughs> they are really tall trees. They're super tall. That's why we're thinking redwoods. And they're definitely different than the other big pines, right? Here, let me get Emily on so you can see the scale of this tree. You can't even hug these trees. They're pretty big. <laughs> There's no branches down low. Yeah. There's no branches. And then up like kind of high, they sort of lose their bark a little bit. Yeah. It peels off. And they sort of have like, I don't know, like army colors, like camouflage. I figure out what these trees are. Yeah, there is a big debate on what these trees are. <laughs> They're just so thick and tall. Like, no, oh, I feel like there hasn't been that many Costa Rican trees that are this tall. But do you think they're Costa Rican trees or do you think they're imported? I think they are imported, but maybe they're not redwoods, but maybe they're something else. They have different kinds of leaves. And when the bark gets up high, it just looks different than any tree I've seen. But definitely cool, right? Yeah. I so guys, look on that little branch. You'll see his little tail. It's a little mouse. He's climbed up in that bush and he's eating the little buds on that plant. He's been climbing around there for a little bit. We've all had our big cameras out watching him. He's so cool. Never seen a mouse do that. It's got to be a pretty dangerous proposition with all these birds around here. Mm. So just as we get to the end of the trail, we see this volcano right here. The clouds are just starting to cover it, but you can see we're kind of below the crater right up there. That would be a good picture. Look at these bees. El Roble. Still on the trail, but we're almost done. In case there's any question, <laughs> these are the great sequoias. Oops. You were wrong. <laughs> well, I was wrong. <laughs> All right, guys. We just got through eating lunch. The Vandersons are hopping up in the front of the van. Dana's Vanna's on the dash, so you know what that means. It's moving day. What an awesome hike, an awesome trail. We absolutely loved it. But we're headed back into the city. We have some friends that we met in Antigua originally that we're going to meet up with. They've been kind of traveling around to a few other countries. So looking forward to another meetup. We will see you guys on the next one. But as always, we appreciate you guys watching. And uh, thanks a lot. Cheers. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.